You know, it's Mardi Gras soon. It's really Mardi Gras right now. Hey, good morning, whalers. Welcome to the WCPS Whaler News Network. My name is Mr. G, and it's a little cold here in the studio this morning. Morning, Robert. Morning. And, and I am Robert Graves. Today is Monday, January 22nd, and it is a day one. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by our great friends down at the Brotherhood of Thieves. <coughs> Located at 23 Broad Street, this classic Nantucket restaurant is a special place that combines delicious food with a cozy atmosphere. Since, the, since opening in 1972, they have been known for their super friendly staff, tasty menu, and when, for whatever you're in the mood for, a satisfying lunch or a delightful dinner, or a late afternoon basket, basket of curly fries, the Brotherhood has something for everyone. I love the Brotherhood. Yeah. It's my favorite. So okay. next time you're downtown at the Brotherhood, tell them that we tell sent them we you. sent you. It's an amazing place. Let's start with a huge birthday shout out to our amazing school social worker, Miss Sandoval. Woo, 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 woo. Happy birthday, Miss Sandoval. She's 21 years old today. For lunch, we're going to be dining on classic cheese baguettes with seasoned French fries. Mm -mm -mm. For weather, we should see mostly sunny skies and a high temperature of only 39 degrees. Today, uh, teachers and students, don't forget, keep logging your time for the Whaler Reading Challenge. There's our image right there. Uh, the Tournament of Champions. You should do this every morning during homeroom so you can help your team win some awesome uh, prizes. Please don't forget to put the team name and then uh, your first and last name on your tracker. In sports, our boys' Cape Cod League team was in action all weekend. On Friday, they traveled to take on Plymouth South, uh, Plymouth South, and this time they came home with a huge win, with a final score of sixty-seven to sixty-four in overtime. In overtime. Then on Saturday, they had two home games. First, they beat Sandwich by twenty-one points, with a final score of sixty-six to fifty-four, forty-five. 45. Then they defeated Nosset with a late final score of seventy-one to sixty-six. Also, both of our A teams played at home today with a tip-off at 5 p.m., and then the boys with the tip-off at 6.15. Then tomorrow, both of the teams have games against Nosset starting at 5 p.m. Let's all get out there and cheer them on. On Saturday, in the NFL Division playoffs, the Ravens beat the Texans and the 49ers beat the Packers. Then, on Sunday, the Lions beat the Buccaneers and the Chiefs beat the Bills. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is really cool. Nantucket Boy Scout. Troop 97. Uh, they traveled this past weekend with <coughs> scouts. My boy right here, Robert Graves, Marco Graves, Caden Ryle, Owen Mansfield, Knox Keating, Cameron Johnson, Ben Potter, and Jackson Remick to participate in the Cape Cod Klond Klondike Derby. The boys were put to the challenge of starting fires, tying knots, slashing poles together, throwing tomahawks, learning about the dangers of cold, and orienting maps. Although the boys did not place, they were able to bring home a new Eagle Scout, Timothy Sullivan. He's a high schooler. He was able to get this impressive rank just before he aged out of scouting. Congratulations, Timothy. Hey there, fellow dessert enthusiasts. Did you know that today is National Blondie Brownie Day? It is the day where we get to celebrate those golden brown sweet treats that are like regular brownies, but with a twist. Blondie brownies are like the let cool laid back cousin of the chocolatey brownie. They are made with brown sugar, uh, giving them a delicious caramelized flavor. So gather your ingredients, put on an apron, and let's get baking up some golden goodness to enjoy on this special day. Whether you're a baking pro or a kitchen newbie, Blondie Brownie Day is the perfect excuse to whip up a batch of these tasty delights. Cheers to the joy of blondies and the simple joy of baking. I love to bake. You ever had a blondie? Yes. That's yeah, so it's good. It's not bad. I prefer the, the regular traditional yeah. chocolate brownie, but a blondie never hurt anybody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's make it a great day today. That is all the news. Please remember to take care of yourselves and each other, and most importantly, be, be kind, kind to, to one, one another. another. It's so easy. Bye. Bye.